like once there was nothing then boom there was three right like just like the big bang of the, the dark triumvirate was born you know <laughs> just a real quick little backstory uh so wits it was, has been doing content since before 2020 uh, for a long time and then uh shane was shane came across wits it shane became a wits it fan uh and actually even chatted with him became friends with him uh shane started a discord server called cosmology tartaria or was uh one of the mods of it and kind of ran things there and ran a bunch of events and stuff and shane was also posting things sharing things of wits it's and like his debates and stuff I came across a debate between, I want to say it was FTFE and Wits, it, I think it's actually what it was. Main that server. Shane had posted. What was that? Main server. Come on, man. That so that was your post of the main server debate. Yeah. Okay. So that <laughs> was, yeah, it was the post between main server and Wits, it, and then that brought me onto Shane's server. And then me and Shane became friends. I was still a Glober. Um, my brother, this was two years ago ish. My brother was a flat earther, and he had been like pestering me about it. And so I was like, all right, I need to like figure this out and like, you know, shut them up. Be like, you know, like I need to like put put an end to this, you know, or at least do a proper investigation for, you know, to be respectful for him. And then, you know, I, I already kind of knew the moon landing was fake. So I was actually kind of a little bit afraid to look into it, I think, secretly, um, you know, kind of just trying to ignore it. Uh, and then, yeah, I popped in. I found a bunch of Shane's content stuff. Shane had posted of Wits it and such. And then I popped onto their server. And then Shane and Witsit, uh, especially Shane, like kind of took me under their wing and you know chatted with me, answered a bunch of questions. And then uh, Alan had been uh, like an OG flat earther for a long time. And then someone told him like, "Hey, stupid flat earther, why don't you read a paper?" And so then <laughs> Alan, said, Alan said, "Like, you know what? Okay." And so then Alan started reading a bunch of papers. And then Alan put once Alan started even going on YouTube and just reading this dry crazy russian translation of this ether dynamics book this super dense ether dynamics book and alan i remember seeing it was like two in the morning one night and i like hardly knew alan yet and i remember just seeing this live stream of alan just reading through this ether dynamics book and i was just like i, gotta, I think i'm gonna be friends with this dude right Fist yeah, yeah, like, Fist we got, like, <laughs> about this dude and then uh yeah we all kind of became friends through like chat and stuff shane and alan were like became real close Shane started helping Alan with a bunch of his streams and stuff, and they kind of became like a, a, a you know, a team of uh, content creation. And then uh, <clears throat> we were all friends with Witsit, and uh, yeah, and then I started the Ether Cosmology Discord server. And uh, I remember when I was like thinking about starting it, and I was like, yeah, it would kind of harken back to you know the old server used to run Shane. And Shane was like, man, that's gonna be a lot of work. And then I remember Alan said. Uh, ether cosmology i'm there and i was like all right cool then we <laughs> based that. on the name soul let's do everything yeah he's like oh the server called that i'll be there <laughs> and then uh we uh we got super lucky because um alan well not really lucky alan through his uh you know through the work he did made the connection with robert bennett and robert bennett came and started doing some present or started doing some doing some discussions with us if you don't know who that is he's a uh, just, he's a PhD professor that's uh, published a bunch of papers on relativity, on you know uh, debunking Einstein and ether theories and uh, geocentrist theories. Uh, and so he came and started chatting with us. And then uh, Stone started popping in a lot. And now Stone's kind of been, uh, we were super thankful to have had him around to help keep us, keep things straight. Cause honestly, a lot of times we call him our quality assurance. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're all like big fans of what Witsit does. Witsit pops in from time to time. And uh, yeah, we're all just trying to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to who never left. There's the What's history. That? There's the history. No black magic required. No, I'm, yeah. I'm the stray dog who never left. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad way to put mm -hmm. it. But then also, Stone runs his own uh, Telegram server or his own telegram chat and you in his own telegram channel and you should check both of those out because he's got a lot of fantastic content over there if you're not a part of that you're crazy because it's it's just good content 
Yeah, dude, the main yeah. thing to take away is anyone listening who doesn't do any of this stuff can just sit on the couch and listen to us. Like two years ago, you can just you could just make a move like right now and you could be making moves and helping everyone understand things in like six months, right? It's super easy. Like one dude can challenge you to read a paper and you can be like, all right, I'm going to be Alan, ready? I'm going to read 873 papers on the internet just to spite you. I'm going to spite learn me an encyclopedia knowledge worth of flat earth material just to show you how wrong you are <laughs> whatever honestly a lot of good came from spite learning and spite and just as far as hey. careers and backgrounds go it's a pretty wide range oh, that's yeah. for sure it definitely started as spite learning but then once you start learning like you're like oh i want to do more of that like it became addicting <laughs> you know it was uh it was like a thing I was, that had been missing that i didn't know was missing so you know shout out to you know anyone out there who's just like like i like i guess like like toby was saying we get stuff wrong all the time but just put yourself out there and learn something man just start start reading some stuff yeah you'll, you'll figure it out eventually dude like what's it gonna hurt you know 